Hey guys, Mike here. Um, just got off the phone with a client that was experiencing one-way audio issues. And I thought to myself, you know, thank God I have a video on this because this is a pretty common issue that a lot of people could probably avoid if they knew about it. And then I looked through the channel and realized that the only voice over IP videos I really have have to do with LLDP tagging on a Forta switch to throw them into the proper VLAN. So, figured now would be a good time to stand up a video specifically to uh, answer this. So nine times out of 10, if you have one-way audio on a voice over IP connection that you've recently moved behind a FortiGate, it's because the FortiGate ALG is wigging it out. So by default, the FortiGate's running in proxy mode on its default ALG mode. There's two options available to you there. There's ALG uh, driven proxy mode, and then there's the uh, kernel based mode that relies on something like a session helper, if you will, to, to help facilitate the communication. So if you've moved your PBX or your hosted solution, because this happens on hosted ones as well, like Nextiva, Ring Central, etc. If you've moved a whole bunch of phones behind a FortiGate and all of a sudden you're experiencing one-way audio or your phones aren't registering or you're just having some hokiness in general when it comes to voice over IP, do these two things and see if it fixes your issue. This fixes voice over IP issues for me 99 times out of 100. And the situations where it doesn't, it's because it's a hosted PBX on site and they're using customized ports or something along those lines to help facilitate connectivity. In which case, there's some various other settings that we will dive into in the future in a more in-depth video specifically for that. So, But these are the quick two hits. You make these two changes really quick. Chances are it's going to resolve a lot of your issues. If it doesn't, you know, let me know about it. That way we can actually dive in and do a little bit more um, digging there. Anyways, this is my lab FortiGate unit. As you can see, it is running FortiOS 6.6.0. That's the beta code. Things are the same in this version of code as it is in the previous, so that is fine. And um, obviously, I'm aware that they are changing the name to 7. whatever. Uh, apparently, the idea of having a 6.6.6 .6 is concerning for some. I don't know why they couldn't just skip that but you know six has ugly names tied to it so anyways so the two things that you really need to do is step one you need to go to config system settings and set your default VoIP ALG mode now out of the gate this guy is set the proxy mode which means the FortiGate's proxying the connection which is probably what's causing your one-way audio issue anyways so if you set that the kernel helper based mode that means that it's actually going to just rely on a session helper and it actually gives you um, detail when you question mark into it proxy based VoIP ALG or use a SIP session helper to help you so we set that to kernel helper based mode and then we go to end then we go to config system session helper and if you do a show I have already deleted it once from here so I had to re-add it but Nine times out of ten, it shows up as session helper number 13 using protocol 17, port 5060. So you just delete that guy. You no longer need session helper 13. And then you exit out. And that's pretty much all you really have to do going forward. Uh, if the FortiGate was already in the wild, and you obviously you're already experiencing the one-way audio issue or anything else, uh, clearing the sessions will help, otherwise they will fall off and it'll clean itself up as well. Um, another option is rebooting the FortiGate. But nine times out of ten, if you're having a voice over IP issue and it's a hosted service, that's going to fix it. That's going to take care of you. Um, if it doesn't, post your situations in the comments below. Uh, and we can make more pointed videos specific to those issues and use cases. The only other time I've ever had voice not function properly after doing this though is um, like I previously mentioned I had a hosted PBX at a client's office and they were using custom ports 
versus the the regular 5060 and changing a few more settings within the system settings actually helped resolve that issue so uh, next video on voice over IP is going to be a little bit more in depth but it's going to be specific to hosted PBX on site so I'm working on getting a hosted PBX available so that I can lab it up and actually show you the the, uh, the packet traversal and things like that so you can you can have a real good hands-on a real good viewpoint of what's going on there so Otherwise, if you like the video, hit thumbs up. If you hate the video, hit thumbs down. If you haven't subscribed yet and would like to, you know, hit that subscription button as well as the notify bell. Uh, it'll just keep you up to date whenever I post new videos. Otherwise, you guys have a wonderful President's Day. Hopefully your Valentine's Day was great. I've been eating chocolate and drinking beer for the past three days, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but if you have any questions, post them below, and I'll uh, try to respond. Thanks.